Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own real estate themed holiday gift tags in Canva. That is a mouthful. It took me 10 times to be able to get that out. Just saying. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is um, create a document whose size is the size of your printer paper at home. So if your plan is to print these as tags on your home printer, then you're gonna need to create it on a document that you can actually print out. So I've created a document that's eight and a half by 11. You, if you're in a different country and you have different size paper, then by all means create that paper size in Canva. If you're planning on printing them professionally, you can still do eight and a half by 11 or A4 or whatever your paper size is and a great place that you can actually print these is called stickerme.com I believe I will link to it below um, but stickerme.com I'm pretty sure that's it uh, it is amazing because what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up a sheet of stickers that you've made or tags that you've made send it to stickerme they create the sticker for you super professional like it, they're so good and then send it back to you and you're just gonna be able to stick it on to your gifts but they're completely customized so imagine the wow factor when you send those to clients like for sure i use sticker me all the time in my business um, and they are on point that is my number one recommendation if you don't want stickers then a great option for you is to get really great paper for your printer and print them out that way or send them to a professional printer because the color quality is just amazing but if you have a really great printer then yes stick to a size that you feel comfortable with number two is to head over to the elements tab and type in shapes and now you're just gonna have fun with creating your tag shapes so I'm just gonna show you an example down here these are our gift tags that we created for the holidays, which is our holiday marketing bundle. You can find these if you don't feel like starting from scratch, feel free to head over to shop 4thstreetcreative.com, link below, and just you can grab these and then you can literally edit anything you want in Canva. But I'm going to show you step by step how you can do it yourself if you want to create something all your own. So you're going to select any shape that you want to use um, as a tag. And you want to keep in mind that this is eight and a half by 11. So you don't want to go too small. So you can fit about three tags per line, like per section here, but I'm just going to do two just to keep things super, super simple. So I'm going to do this guy, I'm going to make him a rectangle and then maybe a star would be cool. Okay, so these tags are going to be a bit bigger because you can fit three per um, per line. You can fit about nine. Yeah, you can fit about nine unless you want super small ones like these guys. Okay, then you're going to want to change them to either your brand colors, uh, a shade of your brand color. If your brand colors are completely not holiday season-esque, you can always take a shade of your brand color like this one here is a 4th Street brand color and I would just head over to the color chooser and then darken that, make it more rich, make it more jewel toned, make it more, um, make it deeper, make it richer because that's more of a winter color palette and then you're good to go. So you're kind of cheating a little bit with your colors, but it's totally fine because you're gonna keep everything else consistent. So I'm gonna select one that's a little bit more obvious just for the sake of this tutorial. Go with this nice green. And then once you've selected your shapes and the colors, you're going to, again, in the elements tab, maybe real estate or houses or something that's related to your brand and select one of these icons. Now, here's a note about icons in Canva, Fo <laughs> Canva, Fo Canva free versus Canva Pro. If you have a Canva Pro account, obviously you're going to have a lot more options when it comes to icons. If you have the Canva free account, that's OK. You can head to places like iconfinder.com and find icons there and then import them into Canva to use. So use the internet as your free resource to get icons to bring into Canva. And you might not need to get a little bit crafty with it if you have the free version, but that's okay. You're going to, you're going to be fine. You're going to find the icons that you want. I promise. So once you've done that, you are going to change the colors to whatever you like. 
And then your fonts, make sure to try to keep things as consistent as possible because you do want some brand recognition. So you can do things like bring your logo in. I wonder if there are logos. I feel like they got rid of their logos. But anyway, I'm just going to use this one as an example. Let's just pretend that this was your logo. You can always bring your logo in and put that on your tags and then Hit T on your keyboard to bring up the text box. And you can write something like happy holiday. Let's change the color. 12 point is small. It's the lowest that you want to go when you're dealing with design and having um, really great legibility. So if, you, if your goal is to have people be able to read this, then I would always go a my I always like to go a little bit larger, as large as you can really, if it's a title like this, and then I'm going to bold it. You know what? I'm going to bring the house on top. Another thing to keep in mind when you're creating these is to leave space at the top for you to hole punch, which is a great tool for these. I bought a hole punch for myself in order to do this. You can get them um, relatively inexpensive either at the dollar store or online Amazon um, and just keep that in mind while you're designing to leave room for the little hole and then I'm gonna put my logo at the bottom here and then I'm gonna put the name of the person who it's for so I'm gonna bring T back up on my keyboard and here's where you might want to use a cursive font so I'm gonna head over to the font menu and grab a cursive font the spacing's a little bit off. So let's change that and then increase it so I can read it. And let's say you're sending it to Sarah Smith. And if you have a nickname for her, by all means use that. That's always fun. Happy holidays, Sarah Smith. Your logo down here. I hate this logo. Like, is there any, oh here, this guy. I use this one all the time. This is the one that I wanted. Okay, this is far more realistic for real estate. Okay, this is working better. Okay, and then you have your logo down here for brand recognition. And when this shows up on her doorstep or however you're gonna give it to her, she is massively impressed. Okay, if I am including my logo, to be really honest, I'm not gonna create, I'm not gonna put anything else on here because I think it's too busy. So I'm just gonna put a happy holidays in my brand font or in a more holiday brand font, which would be say a little bit fancier and, then that, I'm going to call it again. and now I am going to down here you'll see that we did some um, like we put the realty team instead of adding logos we did like a little first like sold sign with the the, the house here so if you want to do that you just head over to elements and type in let's say for sale see what they've got here. Oh, that's cool. Again, this is a pro image, but you can find free ones that are similar on iconfinder.com. And then maybe tilt it a bit and then just put a name to keep it nice and simple. Always keep in mind that you will have to punch a hole in this unless you're getting stickers made. So if you're not getting stickers made, then you're going to have to keep, like I would not even put this for sale sign there, I would kind of minimize it, putting it over here. Um, and that is because you need a spot to punch the hole. Okay, now let's see what else they have. Oh, I love this one. This one's cool. You can also make your own and then drop your logo in in this little area here. So let's do that just to show you how customized you can make these. So I can do sale post. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or maybe just post. Sometimes you have to play around to get like the right lawn sign. Lawn post. There. 
All right, here we go. Here's some. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I would use this one. And then bring it over here. Okay. Here's where I'm going to drop my logo. Let's just pretend that this is a beautiful real estate logo and it has all your information and that's where I would drop this. And then you can, you can see here that when I select the post, you can actually change the color and I'm actually going to do that so that, um, it is all one color. And then let me just press T on my keyboard to bring up a text box. Type something out like the real T team. Drop that below. And then something that is for the season. So maybe ho, ho, ho. And then this could be just a generic tag that you use without customizing for specific people. And what else did we do down here? We just wrote different things. Even this one is just really nice to have if you're layering tags. So something that I love to do when I'm wrapping gifts is use two tags. So I'll, I'll pair this one with this one and make this one a different color, let's say. So when you pair them together, it looks really great, but then you don't want too much writing or too much busyness on the accent tag. So you head over to elements and you type in something like winter and then you just take a peek. So for me, I love twigs. For some reason, twigs are my jam in the winter. I just love the way they look when you pop them onto, um, onto things like this. So I'm gonna use a couple twigs I'm going to copy and then paste and you can see here the short codes that Canva gives you. They'll tell you exactly how you can do this on your keyboard to save time. And I'm just going to like that, change it to white. And I think that is a very beautiful. I'm going to again, leave some room for the um, punch hole punch. Not too much. There we go. And then when this ends up, I like things to be centered. I'm a little bit crazy. Yes. And then when this lines up behind this one, it just adds, mm, it just looks so good, especially, especially if you're going to have these professionally printed. So keep that in mind and that's it. And then you can go, some other things that we did here were create really, really small ones. And those were for smaller gifts, obviously. So if you're going to be wrapping gifts and you need smaller tags, keep that in mind as well while you're designing. Another tip is to print these off. Once you've done the shapes, print off one copy, even if it's in like draft mode, black and white, just to get an idea of size. Because you, while you're designing, it can be so misleading when you're designing on a page, you think it's so big and then you print it out and it's, you can't even read what you wrote. So I would start there. Um, these have all been pre-sized and they're perfect. Like they, they're all like they print out perfectly. I use these tags. Um, so yes, so print out to test for sizing and then print out also to test for color because you don't know how things are going to print. So if your printer is not that great with, with printing out color, mine is horrible. I have a color laser printer and it does not print out color well. So I always get mine professionally printed. But if you are using your home printer, it's good to get an idea of what, what the final result will be before you invest a whole bunch of time. So it might be just best for you to stick with black and white like this on your particular printer. But I do recommend getting higher quality stock for your um, gift tags. So that would include like maybe glossy paper or even like a card stock. And you can find those on Amazon or at your local print shop for sure. And that is it, my friends. When you're ready to print, you're going to head over to print. We're not doing letterheads. So I don't know why they're asking me that. Hold on one second. Let me move myself out of the way. Maybe that's going to make it easier. So download PDF print. If you're sending it to the printer, you don't even need the crop marks and bleed because it's irrelevant. PDF print and then select the page that you want to download and download it. Just make sure that you select PDF print because it's you need the high quality in order for them to print really, really well. 
And that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, drop them into the comments and make sure that you join our free Facebook group called The Design Den. The link is below this video where we teach you a whole bunch of marketing tricks and how to take control of your marketing and your DIY design. Happy designing, friends.